What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to the final fact sheet Friday of the Borgo DLC featuring the last two pieces of equipment. Today we're going to take a look at the Borgo SPS 36050 Cultivator and the John Deere 9RX as well as break down the new trailer featuring these implements. We're also going to take a closer look at the console slot counts for each piece of equipment coming with the DLC as well so that everyone on every platform knows what to expect. The Borgo DLC will release on Tuesday, March 10th, 2020 for Farming Simulator 19 on all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC, and Mac. If you want to pre-order the DLC on PC or Mac, I will have a link below where you can get it for yourself, and that link goes to help the channel so that I can continue to make awesome videos for you every single day. At the time of recording, pre-orders are not available for console players yet, but make sure you stay tuned to the channel for more information as it's available. Let's check it out. First up today, we're going to take a look at the Borgo SPS 36050. This is going to be found in the shop, under tools, and in cultivators. This has a total price of $189,500, a power requirement of 480 horsepower, a working width of 12 meters, and a max working speed of 15 kilometers per hour or 9 miles per hour. This is a cultivator, so it aids in the preparation of fields for the next sowing, folds up easy for transportation, and is ready for the next job quickly. This cultivator fits right in between the Amazon Cineus 8003 2TX Super and the Horse Cruiser 12XL in working width and horsepower requirement, but is way more expensive. The Borgo SPS 36050 will cost you $3,500 more than the Flexicoil in-game, a cultivator that is twice as large with only a 10% increase in horsepower needed. The tractor pulling it is the Valtra S-Series, which only has 400 horsepower max, so in reality, you may not need the full 480 horsepower to pull it. And lastly, our final fact sheet of the Borgo DLC and the number one requested item for Farming Simulator 19 since its release back in November of 2018 the John Deere 9RX series, which will be available for all platforms, PlayStation 4, Xbox, and PC as well. This can be found in the store under vehicles and in large tractors. Base price is going to be $428,500, which is $10,000 less than the starting price for the Case IH Quad Track. You will be able to install engine setups ranging from 517 horsepower all the way up to 670 horsepower, so 22 horses less than the Quad Track at the high end, but plenty enough to literally do anything in the game. It will also hold 1,514 liters of fuel and 83 liters of depth. The John Deere 9RX series will have a top speed of 40 kilometers per hour or 24 miles per hour, and you'll be able to change the wheel setups as well. From what I've been able to see so far, we're going to have between two and four track options with normal and wide tracks and possibly normal and wide spacing as well. With all the hype around this tractor, John Deere fans on any platform now have a vehicle that will plow, plant, and hang with the biggest and baddest tractors in the game. And I could not be more happy about that. Moving over to the video featuring today's fact sheets, we get to see the John Deere 9620 RX sitting in a clearing near the restaurant cell point on Ravenport. We see the tracks go from normal to wide in a fade with a continuation around the backside of the tractor. We do get a rear three point as well as a trailer hitch, so everything is standard back there. Making our way to the inside of the cab for the startup animation and then back to the outside again to see the front lights and working lights on the 9RX. If you're not familiar with the John Deere 9RX, this is the largest tractor that John Deere makes and will fit perfectly on any large-scale farm in Farming Simulator. Waiting at the store is the Borgo SPS 36050 Cultivator in its folded state. Just as every Borgo video before, attention is paid to the detail of the implement, which brings bright reds, clear yellows, and incredibly detailed hoses and wiring. This is going to look amazing no matter what map you're using it on. There does appear to be a rear trailer hitch on here as well, so I'm interested to see how that's going to be implemented into the gameplay and if it will increase the uses for this machine any more than just a standard cultivator. From there, the 9RX hooks up and we get to see the hose animations as well as the hookup animations with the 9RX. Cutting away from the 9RX to the New Holland T9, and it's time to get to work. Because this is a cultivator, it only does one thing, it repairs the fields for the next sowing, but the Borgo SPS 36050 
does it in style. Also announced with the Borgo DLC fact sheets today are the slot counts for each piece of equipment for console players. The 33-20-76 Paralink Ho Drill, which is 23 meters wide, will have a slot count of 20 slots. The 7950 Air Cart, which pairs with it, will have a slot count of 28, bringing the total number of slots needed to run that pair to 48 total. The 3420-100 Paralink Ho Drill is going to be 30 meters wide and has a slot count of 26 slots. And the 71300 Air Cart that pairs with it will have a slot count of only 13, very low, even though it is larger in size than the 7950, bringing the total slots needed to run that pair only to 43. Moving on to the SPS 36050 Cultivator that we've talked about today, the slot count for that is going to be only 12 slots, which isn't bad at all for a cultivator. The XR770 Harrow Weeder will take up 10 slots on your game save. The FMS CD8728 Cedar, which may be my favorite cedar coming with this DLC, has a slot requirement of 23 slots. And lastly, the John Deere 9RX series, which will have a slot count of 35 slots, which is great compared to the in-game 8RT's 42 slots, and if you're curious, the 9RX will take up the same amount of slots and space as the in-game John Deere 8R. This is only the fourth paid DLC for Farming Simulator 19 and the fifth overall DLC. For what it is, I think it is priced very fairly. The first DLC released for Farming Simulator 19 was the Anderson Group Equipment Pack, which was $9.99 USD, released on March 26, 2019, and included 13 new pieces of equipment into the game. The second DLC released was the Home DLC, which was free to all players and released on May 14th, 2019, and included two new vehicles and six new pieces of equipment, totaling eight new items overall. The third DLC for Farming Simulator 19 was the John Deere Cotton DLC, which was $4.99 USD, released on July 23rd, 2019, and included one new cotton harvester and six new pieces of equipment totaling seven new items. The fourth and most recent DLC was the Platinum Expansion, also known as the Kloss DLC. This was $19.99 USD, released on October 22, 2019, and included 15 new vehicles and 26 new pieces of equipment, totaling 41 new items into the game. With the addition of the Borgo DLC as the fifth new installment to Farming Simulator 19, it's going to cost you $7.99 USD, releasing on Tuesday, March 10th, 2020, and we'll be getting one new vehicle and seven new pieces of equipment, totaling eight items overall, bringing our total number of new items from DLCs to 77. Again, if you would like to pre-order the Borgo DLC for yourself, I will have links where you can pre-order on PC and Mac in the description below. The DLC will be $7.99 USD for those of you that want to buy it on PC or console, if you play on console and you have the season pass, you will receive the DLC at no extra cost. Please do not buy the DLC if you have season pass on console. You'll get it for free the day it is released. I will be doing a giveaway for the DLC during a live stream next week on Tuesday, March 10th, 2020, the day of the DLC's release. So if you would like to win, make sure you stay tuned for more information on that. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you've enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on the video, get subscribed to the channel if you're new, join the Gohan fam, and turn those notification bells on so that you never miss a daily farming simulator video here on the channel. With all that being said, I hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace!